last time on Chasing Dallas. I invited Markel to come out. He did not return my text messages. It, I mean, nothing, nothing bad. It just more like he wasn't feeling you right at the moment. Like, yeah. What? When Carrie brought up the fact that Thriller was talking about his good Judy Reese, how the gays in Dallas do. Every girl, honey, you done came over here, child, honey. You got me. You got this girl putting glitter on my eye, girl. I tell the girls to be militant, and it's not gonna really stop until it's not gonna really stop. So we were sitting there talking, and Carrie was saying that Markel just doesn't, he doesn't see me as a friend, he sees me as an associate. Right. What's going on, everybody? It is once again Oliver Twist, the head nerd in charge, making a little quick stop in Dallas. You know, break a leg. Well, no, 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 we don't say that in Shelby. Oh, y'all don't break that. Oh. Can we break a lash? Break a lash? Yes. Break a lash then. She's scary. I've learned that word. I mean, I may have just learned that I'm word, but you spelled it wrong in your last book. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna go there. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 So after everything happened between me and Premier at the game night. Are you trying to get close with her or her? It's going to backfire. Bitch! Okay. Oh, 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 don't don't oh, touch me! No! I thought it was only proper that we have a conversation and he actually reached out to me. See, this is what real friends do. Just to have a conversation and see what's up. Hello. This is cute. Glad to see you. Good to see you too. Game night was a complete disaster. I left feeling really uneasy about me and Reese's friendship. Um, so I felt like it was time for us to have a talk. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm blessed. Surviving. Okay. Been so much. Just been. I haven't seen you what. Since. Well, what's your tea? I don't know, I, kinda, I, I, I just want to know, like, what's your issue with me, I feel like? Like, I feel like, what's your issue? I don't really think I have an issue. I mean, I really feel like it all kind of started over the comment I left on Antonio's Insta story. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's where it came from, okay. is how I feel. Okay. Yeah, I was very surprised by that. I felt like... You know, we were cool. Um, I feel like once you left Dallas, I don't know if you felt like being and Antonio was getting close or that you felt like within your friendship, uh, I was going to, you know, I don't know, snatch wherever you, wherever he places you in his life. I don't know, that's what it seemed like to me. Cause I felt like once you saw that me and him were getting close, it was like, you just didn't feel it. Reese was Antonio's friend. Reese was my friend. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. So I took him in and you know, I was like, you know, she seemed cool, whatever. We're downtown, we're partying and uh, minding my business. And he shows me a series of messages between him and Reese. Um, and basically the messages say something underneath the lines of, don't invite Premier or his friends into your home because they're going to read you, which is so not something that I even do. That's just so not me. Of course, at that moment, I looked at Antonio a little crazy because Reese is supposed to be your best friend. Why are you showing me intimate message, messages between him and you? Then again, my feelings was hurt because I'm like, Reese, why would you tell him something like that? 
Um, and I think that's kind of where like the drama started. And, and then at that point, it was like, you know what? Fuck both of them. I don't know. My thing is just like, you know, we were cool last season. I mean, we was on the same couch together <laughs> at the reunion. We did brunches. We did lunches. We did all the sh like. We were Judy Bops. Like it was me and you. You know what I'm saying? And. I kind of just felt like I didn't know where that comment came from. And I really didn't think that it was going to go that far. I assumed that you had a little drink. I did. And I just really felt like it shouldn't have went that far. I feel like I get where, where he's coming from. I think it's just really, it's a simple task when you can talk it out. How did you even see the message? He ended up showing me the messages at some party we went to downtown. So he showed you the messages. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Hmm. She said that y'all was at her house, you picked up her phone when I sent you, to, when I sent her the message. So, so she's the girl that needs to get checked. How much sense would that even make though? I'm just meeting her. Why would I pick up her phone and read any type of messages? Mm -hmm. She was so excited to show me the messages like, well, girl, this is what Reese said. She said you should stay out of her house. I mean, don't let, don't allow her in your house talking about me. Um, and just a series of messages of you just going in, and I'm just like, if that's your best friend, bitch, why are you even showing me? At that moment, that made me look at her different because I'm like, if that's your best friend, why are you showing me? And I'm like, why messages? would you why would you try to start some shit with somebody who I've known longer than you? Correct. A lot of people get it messed up when they have all these extra people in the middle of their friendships. That's where a lot of problems come into play. But what's surprising to me is that the person that's in the middle calls me a friend as well. So, I'm a little confused, but, hmm. You were kind of open with me about what was going on, and I'm just happy that you got over whatever you were going through, that you're back in Dallas. Uh, that you, uh, yeah, you just saw and got through, and that's just more important. Yeah. And I'm thankful that we met today and we talked. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hug? Do you want to give me? You want to hug it out? You want to hug it out, Candy? Come on, you want to hug it out, Candy? <laughs> Big Daddy. Oh. All in all, I think me and Premier are back on the same page. We can start by getting drunk together, because that's what we do best, and just move on from this little bump in the road you can't be come on friend protein or protein come. or come <laughs> <laughs> never so we going, let's go Not to the bar change. okay it's okay. always a vibe always been on top never been a homie hop a bitch you need to stop i'm the realist that made you a shop riding through your city and exclaiming i'm hot okay so now i'm headed to um reina's house um that's the mother of the daughters um who had got scammed out of her prom dress. So I got a phone call from my brother, Coop, shout out to James Cooper, about a, um, a young lady who had um, been scammed or um, bamboozled out of money for a prom dress. He took her drink. He stole that from her. Demila and her mom, Raina, say they paid nearly $600 for a prom dress. It's prom, your senior prom. This is like, you don't get any more prom as it is. That's the reason why I need to let everybody else know not to ever use his services. I'm a bad So he kind of called me up and a few of my fellow friends and family to see what we could pull together to help this young lady out so that her prom can go off amazing. A lot of attention. Okay, well you gonna be drinking tonight. Are you drinking? Do you remember what I told you? Yes, about? mama. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know how much you could take. Okay, no, cause no, cause. <laughs> I'm so happy I got to come out here and help y'all. You know, being the fact that, you know, someone stealing from you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't mind coming out helping, stuff like that. James Cooper was the one who showed, told us about it. And when I heard about it, I was like, I've heard this before. I actually been through the same thing with the same person before. So, I didn't know that was. Mm -hmm. At one point in time, I was coaching a dance team and we were needing uniforms made by a certain time. And you know, we paid him, you know, the deposit of all the money that needs to be paid. And he gave us a date for the things to be done. And when it came to that date, he was nowhere to be found. 
and it was like we had to go through hell and hot water just to get what we did get and when we did get what we got it was more of um um tops with still pins and threads hanging or uh, a pant that was not wearable to dance in so and then we couldn't we couldn't get our money back or anything so it was just like take it as it is that's the, what I went through with this same exact design. The type of person that I am, I'm always the person who's willing to help out someone who's in need. I'm always a person who's supporting a black business or, you know, I'm just that type of person. So when I, when I got the call about helping her, it made me feel amazing just to know that I could put a smile on a young lady's face and know that she can go to prom looking her best. So tonight, me and Lyndon are taking a red eye to Atlanta. Uh, we have a show at, the, uh, I believe, the Eye Lounge. Oliver put this together. Uh, we were just supposed to go court, but then here she comes, talking about somehow you want to do a show. So yes, I was like, of course, girl in Atlanta, of course. You ready? I'm ready. What about you? I'm, I'm ready. Another trip. Okay, you excited? Yeah. Yes. Ready. ready to get this off over with, recording and performing. Oh yeah, you're doing a lot. Busy, busy. You know? <laughs> People gonna see me work. Okay, you work. <laughs> <laughs> so on the way to uh, the airport to go to Atlanta, I'm, I have this feeling in my spirit. It's not like nervousness or anything. It's more like, damn, I gotta go to Atlanta to get some sort of recognition from the group. You know, um, I mean, I've been performing all up and through um this year for uh, in dallas and girl nobody came nobody came and saw me it was weird it was like this weird feeling that i have to go outside of dallas to get recognized in dallas this is your uh first performance in atlanta in a minute huh? yeah i mean you know we had the last show um it was about what a year ago oh, yeah. maybe uh but yeah this is a whole nother show and being invited to do it yeah Come on wasn't gonna do it at first because you know been taking some time away from doing shows been doing yeah. shows all 2019 <laughs> and nobody came no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah. It's not me. I'm here, I'm here best here. friend. That's all that matters. You know? uh, but yeah, but yeah, a good show and you know, good uh, person to perform with and see all the good people in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. You know, it's gonna be a good time. You yeah. know, my sister lives there, so I'm excited too. Oh yeah, yes. absolutely. Having Lyndon with me uh, as a group member, uh, as a support, it's very it's vital uh, because he's one of those people who's like. I'm not gonna give you a, a pat on the back if you didn't do a good job. <laughs> Here, I'm not going to, um, I'm, I need you to, he knows my best. He knows what I can do, what I can't do. And he knows, he knows when I'm giving my best, he knows when I'm not. We kind of keep each other accountable, like, bitch push. You know, like, I don't, ex I don't expect you to come out here and, sh and like, shit. <laughs> give your best, do your best. Shit on these holes, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, so yeah, having him there, he knows he knows me well. So I expect having him around me, he's gonna make sure I'm at my tip top best. Coming up on Chasing Dallas. Listening. Girl, trying to flee with. Girl, trying to flee with. 
My name is Imani Van Zapp, and I'm here to help you fix your shit. Auntie has missed you. I hope you had an amazing week. Thank you for the continued love that you show. So it is time once again for the moment that we have all come to love, the strongest and weakest person of the week. But first, as always, let's recognize our honorable mentions. Now, as I've said before, honorable mentions do not have to be cast members. In that vein, I want to first of all celebrate T.S. Madison. I love her spirit and was glad to hear her talk about unity in the community. Secondly, I want to recognize Oliver Twist. She's alive! Came through dripping with sway, sass, and shade. All right, so now let's get to it. The strongest person this week is Ariel. Now, I'm going to be honest. Auntie was worried about you last week, daughter. The category is comeback, and that you did. Tens across the board. The weakest person this week is obviously Markel, as my baby King Kane referred to as Skeletor. someone's face. Passive aggressively throwing ice behind your back. Reese should have slapped the shit out of you, I'm just saying. Honey, you're not gonna like me today, but that's what sissies do. And the best you've had to offer from what I'm being told are misspelled Dr. Seuss books. Now, I don't want to have to have this talk with you again. So please, go and fix your shit! So today I invited Rock and Womack out to come with me to Skeevies. Skeevies is like a real popular like underwear line that I've been doing some research on. Um, so I just kind of want to go and see like what the competition is, what do they have, what are they giving, that whole thing, and just pretty much see how I can take them out. Um, so the fact that I have Rock and Womack here with me, it just makes it all, all the better. You imagine like a booty bit of that? Yeah. Yeah, that's some good shit. Somebody like um, Trey Womack. Who the fuck is that? You know what I mean? Oh. Is that a woman? No, 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 no. It's a guy. It's a guy. He must be like really feminine or something. No. He just has a real big butt. You said her. Yeah, that's just a, a ism. Okay. Well, words to the wise, don't gay ism me. Oh, that's not your thing? Okay. Ah, baby. Relax. This is just the way that the world talks. This is just gayism, gayology. You've been around it. This we all know. Um, so. Don't be so hectic. Don't be so hardcore on me, okay? Okay. Are you still running for president? Yes, I am. Yeah. How's that going? It's good. It's been uh, definitely like a journey. Yeah. My focus right now is like more so to redirect it to 2024. Mm hmm Because of like, it's so much that I gotta do. Before? Be yeah, in the beginning, so I kind of jumped in late. When it comes to rock running for president, I mean, I really don't care that much. Um, I feel like it's great when a motherfucker wants to evolve. So if you want to evolve and go run from president, from porn to president, then I salute it and I support it. I mean, I really don't care that much. Hey, hey Womack. Hey, how you doing? Uh, yeah. I love yeah, your shirt. Thank you. Come on, pride. <laughs> I saw you shopping in North Park yesterday. Yeah, is. That was, is that where those come from? Yes. This that was exactly. beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is I'm so glad he waited to after he know that to introduce me. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Trey. Trey, nice to meet you. You look familiar. I though. probably do. You know. But anyway, we're gonna look around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you watch, you watch the porn? Uh, I do. That's probably right. When Kane told me he was a porn star, because I didn't know who he was and never seen him on like mainstream. I thought maybe he was like a uh, OnlyFans or uh, what's that, uh, the PayPal people. What's the, I forgot what you call them. Fans only in 
Connect Me or uh, some shit where they, you know, you pay people to, yeah. What would I prefer? What could, no, not what you prefer. What could you take? What could I take? Yeah, because it's like, you know. I need something smart. I need something oh, wait, like, no. real little. Yeah. Real little. No. 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 Rock, I've seen your videos. You're very much. I ain't seen his videos. So what do you I'm like, like, Rock is very much, uh. Here. Oh, that's a dangling. Yes, it's a uh, dick. Yes, yeah. I mean, what are y'all talking about? Look at his. You, you I've never that? seen his oh. dick before. <laughs> 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 oh. Or just actually because it was like, you know, saying yeah. how you know, people have this conversation like, ah, oh, you know, hear about a big dick. Oh, I can't do it. I want to yeah. do something small. But then, like back in the day, it was like, oh, big dick's a thing. Like now it's like a curse. It is. Um. I was unimpressed by his picture. I wouldn't say I wasn't unimpressed, but I feel like if you seen one dick, you seen them all. But he was bragging, like, you know, he had like, I thought he was gonna pull out a anaconda and he pulled out a, maybe I give him a bow constrictor. I mean, I mean it, was, it was nice, but it, I mean, I don't, I'm not a dick fanatic. I'm not a dick fan. So I was like, hey, I got a dick too. You wanna just compare, so if I, what you wanna do? So. <laughs> uh, I think I'm definitely gonna get this hoe right here. I think it's gonna go with my look because I'm, I'm serving very much uh, S&M. S&M, all leather, body out. It's, it's gonna be sick. Okay. Yeah, you, <laughs> you go ahead with that. I'm just a little low on some lube because I got a little few things to do with someone. I had oh, a toy. I don't know. What, right. Here it is. I'll just get this because I need to go home and practice. This practice should be. Yeah, that. that'll be okay. Yeah. The fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, that's like my side. So tonight is the night I'm performing at Eye Lounge. Oh my God, there's a lot of dope artists here. Um, and we about to shut it down. Oh. Baby, put your phone down. Baby, put it down. I got something to talk about. Talk about right now. I wonder what is going on. I feel like you're not giving me your all. Got me feeling alone. It's like I did something wrong. Answer so your friends, but not my call. Voicemail. Shoes and clothes, guys. 
Chasing Dallas. All you do is Chasing Dallas. <laughs> After the performance, I mean, it's wild. We got people who are really taken to the music. I, it's always a good thing for me to feel like people really gravitate to my music, especially because you never know who you're dealing with. Mean gay, but this is Atlanta. The next step for me is pretty much it's time to put this project out. Like, um, I've done Carrie D. Now it's time for Roommate. I just need this project to go off without a hitch. <laughs> Chasing Dallas. You've done what? Your mission is I want everybody here, I want you to do this, get a bid and do a product. Bitch, you ain't put a product out yet. Come on, everybody else. See, the one was your, what was your product? The Last show year, was, was your my product. product. What was your product? The show was fully funded. It wasn't funded. your product. The and show was product my product. product. Let me go ahead and give you a little knowledge. You need? Your on. book did not sell until Based you were up. on last season. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kerry D. And I'm Lyndon James. And we're Roommate. Roommate. Our new single, Blow Your Mind, drops Valentine's Day. But you can pre-sell it today on iTunes. And it's the best gift you can give. While you're getting it in. Uh -huh, my God. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>so I'm having a small weenie rose for me and some of the guys and so I reached out to Reese uh, to have her come over a little earlier because I just want to make sure that all the shade has been paid and ain't gonna be no additional uh, BS while I lay my head. So we go chop it up and just see what's going on. So I mean, uh, who I'm Where's the girl? <laughs> So we're gonna stop, we're gonna go ahead and start on a, a level yes, sir. a tone of respect right now. Yes, no. So I invited Markel. Okay. So um and then um, Am I missing something? I don't think you missed when well, you did miss something. What happened? She ended up child going left, ended up walking out, throwing like a whole cup of, I don't know if it was drink in it. I don't know, it I got popped with a piece of ice. Not Mark Hell. Mark Hell. D. Logan. Oh, wow. Author. Double space. On her knees. Always. We don't know if that's true. That well, I mean, for what I, he was on, he was on his knees for you, wasn't it? Well, no, Markel and I have had no deal. Oh, he was on his side. I don't know what you're talking Bobbing about. Bobbing and weaving on the side. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I did invite him. Mm-hmm. Now, I didn't know y'all was into it. Mm-hmm. Because then one of you girls would have got an invite. Right. But you know, I can't. I would have voluntarily they not can, came. Listen, they can get loud noise complaints where they stay. We ain't gonna do that over here. Let's hope not. See, let me tell you something about George. When I met George, he was real sketchy. He always was very kind of calculated with the things that he does. So for him and Markel to be so close, 
It's really odd to me how he didn't know that we wasn't into it. Listen, I think you just should have had a conversation with Markel. Because now you've taken other people's inside of what they feel, which then puts a negative impact to already add to the shit that's human, right? I will try my best to keep my cool. No trying. You will. I will try my best to keep my cool. No trying. I'll you make will. I'll make a very conscious effort to keep my cool. And I'm gonna nicely walk you to your automobile. Thank you where, for coming. I'll leave before you walk me there. <laughs> where's uh where's Duran? He's on his way, so I had him do some tasks this morning. Come on, tasks. Yeah, so um, you know, I'm not a gorilla, right? So, we're doing like a weenie roast today, right? Come on, weenies. You know, I can't... Faggot. I can't... I can't just this, gay this, and weenies. You know, I thought you like a full course meal for y'all. I'm like, I don't even know these girls. You and know, you can't cook. Out of me. I can't cook. Right. And I want to cater We ain't want to die. Right? Right. So, we just going to put a couple hot dogs on the grill. Got some chips for y'all. But he's on his way because... Chips. We couldn't get no potato salad? You posted on Facebook you was making potato salad. That was, that was last night. Don't tell me what has happened. Tell me what... <laughs> Tell me what we're talking about right now. So Joy said it wasn't gonna be no potato salad. Now he just made a post on Facebook saying that he was gonna have potato salad. I was coming and now, especially since Mark Hill gonna be here, at least the bitch can get a meal. And George kind of look like the type that really can't cook, but y'all know what they say. Dominant tops can't cook no way. Well, maybe he can cook because he ain't no dominant top, but that's just my, that's just my opinion. You know, I ain't, I, I, mm. I deal with the chips. So right. let's go on down to the pool because they're on their way. He's on his way. It's so late. Who's you only brought? You only got one bottle. I Duran is bringing another bottle. Okay. What? What? But what you bring? I wasn't oh, asked to bring okay. anything. My you present. My present is a present. Have, okay. Well, I'm walking to the hand. pool. You leave a real? Empty yes, I am. Hand. I'm walking to the pool. I, I don't do any heavy lifting. <laughs> Thanks. I just say <laughs> So it's Independence Day, 4th of July, and I get invited to a weenie roast by Reese. Never heard of a weenie roast before, but it sounded like food was involved. Y'all know I like to eat, so I was down. <laughs> so George was trying to get me to do all this lifting and stuff, child. That's what Duran is for. He's strong and everything. I bruise like fruit. I'm not gonna do none of that and do no heavy lifting, okay? I let my husband, whoever he is, do all of that when I bring him around the girls. Now, it's all a matter of time before Markel comes and probably throws another cup of ice or something. So I'm just gonna make sure I have my antennas up for whatever may come about. Come, 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 Mary. Hello. Hello, bro. Wow. Um, <clears throat> how you doing? <laughs> you can't pray with your flask. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it out there. We ain't getting into nothing. Have a seat. I might need to pull me up some more of this wine. Or ain't so when my good friend Markel get there, you know he came in real, you know, Sophia off the color purple. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So Markel walks in like really slow. Kind of reminds me like, you know how we march down the aisle like really slow? And then Reese giving real WWE pose. She already ready to go in. So you know me. Uh, when I see a warning before destruction, I try to guide it. So <laughs> Reese, Markel, Markel, Reese. <laughs> they know each other, I'm sure. Hmm. Oh, so y'all just not going to speak to each other. Did I miss something? I'm telling you. So we're sitting there, we're chopping it up, we're eating, talking, you know, I'm getting to know George a little more. So I'm thinking like, it's about to be some shit because the last time I saw Markel, he was pointing fingers and throwing ice. Oh, oh Lord, know. what's in the, oh, what's in the flash? Wait, so where are you going? Where you going to go with the right She's hand. afraid to hear the truth. So what happened was. What are you, hold on. Where is it? No, you have to so be here. You have to come in. Okay, well, come no, on, tell us. Tell us your side. We're here with you. Now we can breathe. Oh, oh shit. Look at the way. You see how he was blocking all that wind? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not nice. He's not here to defend himself. Yeah. So, listen. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. Now, I'm a big boy, so I ain't with the fat jokes. However, I thought that was, I thought my good friend was reaching. And so me being who I am, I was like, hey, he's not here to defend yourself. Contrary to what y'all believe, 
you know, I'm all about fairness. I ain't with all that mess all the time, especially not at my house. So how's everyone for? It was great until she got here. Okay. You want me to leave? Because I'm not going. Okay. So we're going to have a conversation we just go throw shots at each other. I ain't throwing no shots. Okay. I'm just following your lead. You asked me to come over here back in the sun to deal with the girls. Mm -hmm. This is your new crew because they like you because they don't know the real you. Remember, you have no friends in Atlanta anymore. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Your friends that you came down here with first that you met here, they're not your friends no more, right? Seems like a trend with you. Every new season, what's it, summer? And what, and what, and, what's it, summer? And, and, what, and what do you have? These are your summer friends? And what do you have? These are your summer friends? And what do you have? Friends that come, friends? The friends that come about and around you, they use you for your money because you're so sweet. They use you for your vehicle. They use you for your connection. Yeah, nice I don't use you. And what all the other girls do is on Mad Day, they all gang up just like Tonio. Quiet as it's kept, it's probably Tonio who called her anyway. Wait a minute. And she Hold on. Tonio? Tony your, your best friend. You know Tonio. Your best friend, right? The same Tonio that you is my very girl, close friend. Your best friend. So, right. but anyway. What? I'm, okay. Oh, now listen. <laughs> According to what she said. So, I'm trying to defuse the situation. And then out of nowhere, Markel begins to reach for me. And he says in a small, subtle voice. The same Tonio uh, that I tried to steal from my best friend. Now, I looked at him and I said, in my head, wrong road, the wrong road. Now, you said Tonio told you I tried to steal him from my best friend? Wait. You well, let's be clear. I'm lost. I'm going to clear for you. Help real me. Quick. Find me. Real simple. I met Tonio through Reese. Okay. Right? When I first met Tonio, I thought he was cute or whatever the case may be mm -hmm. we talked for like a week and right. i was just not interested no shade no right. nothing he just i to talk to him he just wasn't my type right mm -hmm. tonio and my best friend met each other not Durant. knowing that i knew tonio that one over there my best friend duran uh -huh. not knowing that i knew tonio and him and tonio was talking now here's the tea tonio knew duran was my best friend hmm. right and that was it so i don't know you need to look at your sources because if that's what he told you the you're sources is the third person so, one two and three don't get mad because i repeat right. something that the other the third person who's involved so yeah. that's the same scenario then you did the exact what you just did to me is the same thing that you did that the guy told you you turned around and did teresa period it's not facts Done. and if you can't that's show me the facts don't bring up no shit at my house about some shit tony told exactly. you exactly See, this is the prime reason why I always have looked at Markel not as a friend. People think we are very close, but I always looked at him as just somebody that I know. You're mad at me because of something you heard, and then you turn around and take that something else that you heard and start spreading rumors about George and Antonio. Basically, you're doing exactly what has been done to you, not bringing up any motherfucking facts about anything that you're saying. And you call yourself an author. Well, it is fiction. So that goes in line with each other. But so nobody, well, well, let me, right. nobody really wants you here, so why don't you just leave? Oh, okay. Honestly, girl. Honestly, because you don't have any real friends. So you want to understand. Oh, like, wait a minute. Now, no, 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 hold on. When have you had a party and somebody showed up? Oh. Or did you have to get a promoter to show your party out? Honey, I didn't, I didn't know. Seen inside that. of you. Girl, she's the <laughs> oldest one here. They <laughs> asking a plum ass. Oh, you're the oldest here? Am I really? You oh. are. You're the oldest one. I'm 28. Don't try it. Yeah. Just because I've done more than you have, don't I mean, mean that. First of all, you've done what? You've done what? Your mission is, I want everybody in here, I want you to do this, get a bid and do a product. Bitch, you ain't put a product out yet. I'm talking about everybody else. See, the one was your, what was your product? The Last show year, what was, was your, my product. What was your product? The show was fully funded. It wasn't your product. The show your was product, my product. product. Let me go ahead and give you a little knowledge. You need, your on. book did not sell until you were on last season. The girls let us say that Reese G ain't got no job, Reese G ain't got no talent. What product is she putting out, bitch? The whole motherfucking platform and the reason why people know you, bitch, the reason why your books hit number one is because of something that I had put you on. Go back and look at your pocket. Cause quiet as it's kept, I put money in there. Yes. You, you doing too much. You do You wanna have a you conversation over here? You doing too much for camera. I don't you wanna, wanna have, have no conversation? conversation with you cause you doing too much. What am I doing? You listening to Tron of all people. You know he ain't there for you. So listening. Ain't ever been there for you. So listening to Girl trying to people. sleep with <laughs> Talk about that. Don't talk. Oh, see? You. <laughs> see? Really? 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 No. No. I'm gonna respect your house. Okay, come on. Let's go. I'm gonna respect your house. Before she sits there and does all of that, let me get my stuff.
I really hold my friendships like seriously. When he happened to say this person's name, it triggered in me like, oh, so she's going below the belt. You better be glad that lady was standing back there because you would've got this whole drink on you too. But we're not going to play with me. This is not loving hip hop. This is not loving hip hop. You have no class like loving hip hop, but this is not loving hip hop. Don't do that. Get your class mm. and have a good day. It's about to be some shit between him and Reese G. <laughs> uh uh. Markel. Really? Markel. Oh, no, wait, 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 this girl sat up there and ruined her real friend's atmosphere at where she stayed at. Markel gets no grace. Next time on Chasing Dallas. Just so, so, just so happy that he pulls up in a truck. And I go to him and I was like, I was like, hey daddy, and he looking at me like, who are you? So, um, so you come highly recommended. Yes, you do. Okay. I've heard tons and tons of things. <laughs> no, it was never nothing but, uh, like, I supported him in whatever he wanted to do, whatever, however, like, when him hit the next one in that situation, they split, I didn't take nobody's side. Still to come on this season of Chasing Dallas, a trip to New Orleans. <laughs> And the biggest throwdown of the season. Stop it! No jumping! No jumping! One, one fight! Hey! Hey! Life is what you do. Life, life is what you do. Take the good. Erica Kane, sing the chorus.